ultimate issue is. So when we look at a redox, we're obviously talking about oxidation and reduction, right? So what's the definition of oxidation? Right, so oxidation, an oxidation uh, reaction is loss of electron. And then what is a reduction? Then reduction is gain. Like. Right, so then reduction is gain mm -hmm. of electron. And a lot of people use the mnemonics, um, oil rig, right? Oxidation is losing, reduction is gaining, or maybe Leo goes Ger, loss of electrons is oxidation, gain of electrons is reduction. As far as the MCAT goes, I actually recommend writing these down. Okay. So like so writing these down on your paper, because because oxidation reduction questions, those are gonna be easy. Yeah. And so you wanna make sure for those easy questions that you get them right. So you don't wanna be like, oh, this is easy. I don't have to write this down, I can just answer and move on and save time. You, you, for, for those easier questions, you want to make sure that you get them right. Because we can't afford any silly mistakes, any mix up here. Yeah, exactly. So make sure it's like, okay, I write it down. Okay, I know reduction is gaining. And then I can figure out whatever it is for the question. Okay, so that's one point. Second point is, is sometimes there's like a different definition of oxidation reduction given. What's that about? Exactly, bonding to hydrogen or oxygen, right? So in the, in the case of oxidation, and we, we say a reaction is oxidizing if you increase the number of bonds to oxygen, okay. or decrease number of bonds to hydrogen. And the opposite is in reduction. So in reduction, if you uh, increase number of bonds to hydrogen or decrease number of bonds to oxygen. So what's up with that? How, how can there be this sort of double definition? There's really only one definition, right? It's loss of electrons or gain of electrons. So how does this how does this definition fit into that? Um, is it is it due to like the electronegativity? Yes. Right? Yes, electronegativity. Perfect. Do you know the mnemonic for electronegativity? Bunkelbrisch, exactly, wow. Very few people will get that. So yes, that is gonna be key, key for the MCAT. So gotta know Bunkelbrisch, right? So it's F, O, N, fluoride, oxygen, nitrogen, and then chloride, B, R, I, S, C, H. Right, so fluoride, oxygen, nitrogen, chlorine, bromine, iodine, sulfur, carbon, hydrogen. Right, so Bunkel Brisch. And this is in order, so this is here increasing electronegativity. Yeah. Now, the idea here, so what is electronegativity? So the more electronegative it is, the more it likes electrons. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's different from electron affinity. Oh, okay. so, so electronegativity is specifically within a bond. Okay. So that's what you were getting to. So it's, yeah, it's within a bond, how much does that element want those electrons? Mm -hmm. And so if we look at this, Basically, these are all the, um, the comments.
the, the elements in complex biological molecules. And fluoride's not really important. It's in teeth or something, but we don't really care about that, so we don't include that. And then hydrogen's down here below. So basically we have oxygen as the most electronegative element, and then hydrogen as the least electronegative element. So we come back over to this definition, we see that when we increase the number of bonds to oxygen, what we're doing is we're increasing the, the number of bonds to the most electronegative element in bio. Most EN element in bio. So because that's the case, um, that's always going to result in an oxidation because that oxygen is going to sort of hoard those electrons. So it's a functional loss of electrons. Yeah. Conversely, if we, same with hydrogen. So if this is the least electronegative element in biology, then if we increase the number of bonds, we're increasing the number of bonds to the most giving element. Thus, it, thus we're automatically gonna gain electrons for whatever other element is bound. So, so this, so this, like, sort of, like, demi definition, it, it still fits in with the the over the, the true definition. Yeah. Um, in this way, when we think about electronegativity, this way. Okay, now that's going to be important later. So then, let's look at some examples. Um, first example, let's look at. NAD. So we have NAD plus going to NADH. What is that? Oxidation or reduction? Um, so it would be the less electronegative, so that would be reduction. Exactly. So here we have a reduction. Now what about something this where we have iron, ferrous iron going to ferric iron. Uh, so iron that's plus two, plus two to plus three. three. Now let's take a third example, and then I'll put this over here. Can you see that? Yep. Right? Plus O2 and then H. Mm hmm So CO2 plus HO. Yes. Right. That's that's about my right? Mm -hmm. right? This is what? And like cell respiration. Cellular respiration, exactly. Yeah. This is the equation for cellular respiration. So what is this? An oxidation or a reduction? Right, it's both. Right. Yeah. It's a redox reaction. So yeah. something is being oxidized, yeah. and something else is being reduced. reduced. What's being oxidized? Um, so I think it's the so this what goes to uh, the CO two that's that, no, that's oxidation. Right, that's oxidation. Yeah. Right, so if if there's something on the left side of the equation that looks like something on the right side of the equation, it's the glucose and the carbon dioxide. So we see here, this carbon is bound to some oxygens and some hydrogens. Whereas this carbon here is completely oxidized. It's bound to the maximum number of oxygens. So what's happening here is the carbon is getting oxidized. So we have oxidation. 
Now what's happening to the oxygen? So the oxygen is, as oxid, you know, it, it has this extremely high oxidation, or, or extremely high reduction potential, because it's like a super oxidized molecule, right? We know yeah. reactive oxygen species are dangerous. Free radicals are dangerous in the body, and oxygen is dangerous in the body. It causes a lot of damage, like reperfusion injury after stroke or heart attack, mm -hmm. um, those kinds of things. So oxidation is dangerous, why? Because it's so reactive, it's so easily to get reduced. So here, we're reducing it, so we're bonding now hydrogen to the oxygen, right? So oxygen to water, that's a reduction, okay? And so the process, and of course this is a combustion reaction, and as we talked about before, thermodynamics, so this is happening spontaneously, mm -hmm. right? And it's also exothermic. So we're getting some heat or some energy here. And we're gonna take that energy and we're gonna create those high energy bonds in ATP, right? So this is, so this is a process of taking some carbon thing that we call glucose and, and spontaneously oxidizing it while we reduce, while we breathe in and reduce oxygen. And through that process, we create heat and then we, then we funnel that heat or energy into those high energy ATP bonds. 